this just happened recently, or I guess it's in progress of happening. But what are your thoughts on uh, them, quote, banning menthol cigarettes and blunts and, and, and sweet, you know, type of uh, cigars? You know what? I've never smoked. So I don't know. I know the importance of it. I've never smoked. I've never been a smoker. Mm-hmm. Um, I, in fact, in fact, I'm a, before I ask you, before I answer, answer that question, name me another use for tobacco other than other than smoking it. I can't. I, I looked it up. Hmm. Tobacco don't have no medical, has no medical redeeming factors. Hmm. Okay. Tobacco has, it's only because tobacco grows in certain areas of the country. Ain't no tobacco farm in California, ain't no tobacco farm in, you know, uh, far I know in Texas. It only grows down south. And they were able to create a market for it through making two cigarettes, okay? Mm. And I do believe um, that there is no, no, med- no medicinal purpose for, for uh, cigarette before uh, tobacco. And the only reason why it's legal is because there's a big, it's big money maker, and folks make it make a shitload of money, and they don't care about your lungs, they don't care about no parts of you, and it, they make it addictive between the menthol and the nicotine. Nicotine is what makes it addictive. Okay, mm-hmm. there are cigarettes on outside of uh, outside of smoking tobacco. The only thing tobacco is good for is chewing, which ah, you, which is the grossest is shit. Yeah, Which is the so grossest nasty. shit. You get lip cancer, yep. tongue cancer, lung cancer, and, and, mm-hmm. and your teeth fall out. Okay? Yeah. You get all kind of just uh, this um, nasty ass shit happen to you when you mess with them, when you start chewing tobacco. But your mm-hmm. lungs uh, is probably the most, the most, uh, most prominent thing when it comes to smoking cigarettes. I think I, I, they should have never made them legal in the first place, but I think. For, follow the money, man. Follow the money. Yeah, I, I believe yeah. when they when they finally um, when they finally if they do ban cigarettes, we gonna get nationally uh, legalized. Hmm. And the same people that's growing that's growing uh, tobacco will be growing uh-huh. cigarettes. We'll be making hmm. we grow marijuana to make weed. Make mar- weed. Yeah, okay? follow hmm. the money. Always follow. What I tell you, let's go. Respect the money. Yeah. Respect the money. Yeah. Respect yeah. the money. Okay. Yeah. Because they have yet to find any real uh, problems with weed, other than to make it forget a little bit when you get high. There's right. you, you you can't OD on weed. It has no real lung issues. Cause no real lung, lung issues mm-hmm. unless you just uh, you just got to be a chimney. And if yeah. Snoop ain't got, I know a friend of my brother. He Thank ain't you. got. If he ain't sick from smoking weed by now, it can't be all that. Because, you yeah. know, it's a whole different situation. So I I, I think that uh what's he said? The Native American did it uh the, to their uh ceremony. I, okay, all right. Yeah. But again, even even then it wasn't menthol based, nicotine based uh tobacco. They smoke it just like they smoke, they smoke peyote, they smoke weed, you know, they did all that. Okay, and you know, tobacco became one of the mainstays because I don't even think tobacco has any any real good byproducts, unlike marijuana and hemp. Ma- mm-hmm. Marijuana and hemp, hemp has thousands of byproducts, thousands, thousands, thousands. Okay, yeah. so when hemp got it became illegal when uh, my man Randolph Hearst, who owns the Hearst newspaper. He Hearst actually, Castle. Hearst Castle. If you go mm-hmm. up the 101 freeway, 101 highway, going to San Francisco, you're going to run across um, Hearst. You're going to see a big size at Hearst Castle. You'll see it up in the distance, but it, for miles, nothing but trees, nothing mm-hmm. but trees. And yeah. that that um, industry, the uh, lumber industry, uh, he has lumber to make paper because he owns a bunch of newspapers. But that industry was being threatened at that time uh, by hemp because hemp could make you you can turn you can turn a hemp crop every six months pretty much like marijuana. It takes yeah. decades to replace a, a, a tree uh, a forest. It takes yeah. decades, mm-hmm. okay. And you can make cotton, you can make uh, paper, 
oil, all kind of stuff coming out of the hemp plant. That's that's one of God's best plants, and it, it, it's it's um considered uh uh it it scares capitalism. It's, it's still like a stage stage one drug or some bullshit. In other well, lines now, of, now it's kind it's kind of come down, but it's still stage one. They they legalized it, but federally, it's not, I think. not federally though. It's yeah, yeah. Just just lo just local places have yeah. uh marijuana and uh hemp it's legal but it's still uh it's still not federally legal throughout the country yet yeah you know you mentioned uh, how they market stuff to us uh you know back in the day when i was younger i would smoke blunts you know cigars cut the cigar open take the tobacco out i probably spent thousands of dollars on swisher sweets and billy blunts and this this and that here's the funny part though when i would go looking for you know let's say i ran out of a blunt couldn't find a blunt for the life of me in a white neighborhood. I would literally have to drive five, seven miles out the way, and they got all any blunt you want. So they and and think about how we're keeping these businesses open. I mean, Swisher Sweet would probably be bankrupt. They don't have a good cigar. Nobody's smoking Swisher Sweets for the cigar Nobody. for the tobacco. They're right. cutting them open so they could take that nasty ass tobacco out and fill it up with weed. Backwood, same thing. Ain't nobody smoking backwood cigars like putting tobacco in it. It's all weed. Uh, my question was, I know we had we had different kind of different grade of weed, but we could roll a joint that big, and if it was good stuff, everybody would get high. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to understand how in the hell you need that much weed for twenty dollars to do the same thing we got with a couple of zigzags. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was a we we was. Maybe we wouldn't use, we don't smoke it as much as y'all, these new guys do. We didn't smoke every day. We didn't smoke every day. We didn't smoke all day. I mean, folks nowadays, they wake up with a blunt and controller in their hand. Yep. That's my new song called Blunt and Controller. Blunt <laughs> and Controller. <laughs> Get that copy written. Yeah, man. No, you're right, dude. There was, there was a time in my 20s where I could literally smoke all day. And now my 40s, I'm looking if I could finish a joint, you know, a day. It's just, yeah, your, your tolerance goes down. The weed is, is much better than it was when, when we were younger with the, the Mexican dirt weed and the seeds. I can still smell the seed popping in the, in the, in the blunt. Like you just, oh, man, you put a seed, you got a seed in there. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we had the polyester pants. And that shit, that's the seed on your pants. Your pants are done. Your pants are done. Yep. <laughs> um, did um, did I see you with a vape pen at one time? Yeah, yeah, I use a vape pen. Yeah, definitely okay. got one right here. Boom. That's one. Of, that's one of my uh, one of my sponsors. Um, they make they make vape cartridges. And okay. I've i i I got one, and I'm not a big user, but I like it because it's convenient, and especially with Corona. You, somebody get through. You think about this for a minute, man. With Corona being mm -hmm. what it is today, mm -hmm. you rolling the blunt. Okay. Oh, eh, eh. Uh -huh. Okay. You gonna give me this this goddamn Corona Chronic? Okay. Nope. <laughs> you want me to smoke? Me? <laughs> man. Go. Come on, man. You gotta do all this shit right here. And then, and then, um, and yeah. here. Oh hell no. Yeah. And then not only that, they're sharing it mid mid pandemic. Maybe boy, let's go back to July of last year. I remember being at a beach, you know, and there were like seven dudes in a circle passing a blunt around everybody's saliva you might as well that's like injecting heroin straight into your veins dude might be gonna inject you a nice case of covid okay man. uh and that that's true shit man so um i i got i got turned on to the to the bay pen a couple of years ago and i like it because yes, i don't sir. i don't i, I, have, a, I have a high tolerance you know, i have a low tolerance see? so mm -hmm. a couple of hits i'm cool okay yeah. and not only I, that not only that, you're, you're a classy dude. I, I like to think I'm classy as well. And I don't like to go to places reeking of weed. I think it's, you know, unprofessional, you know. So if you want to hit, you know, I could do that in the car. Nobody, none the wiser. I went to a club with a friend of mine, went to a comedy club a couple of weeks ago. I turned around. He was hitting his pen in mm -hmm. the club. I, I was sitting across the table from him. I could not smell it. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. And cause the smoke evaporates so fast. And that's one marketing thing that we promote. I'm promoting with the uh, with the with the uh, company is that if if discretion is your preference, get you a vape pen. Okay, there it is. Get I your like vape that. pen. If, if discretion is your preference, 
get you a vape pen and you can still get it. You can get high and still babysit. Okay. I like that. You ain't, you know, your house in the, your house ain't all lit up. Your kids don't know what you do. And for grown folks, like I said, you know, and I, you ain't gonna never see me on on a. Um, you ain't gonna never see me holding the blunt. I, that is what I do. I might have my vape pen in my mm -hmm. hand. I ain't gonna hit it on, ca on camera, but you know, I have I have it around. And that's that's mm -hmm. one of the things we do. We do some commercials for them right now. So I, I highly yeah. I highly recommend if if you're a grown ass person and you just want to be just discreetly keep folks out your business. Okay. I like that. I like that. Keep folks out your business. Okay. You do what you yeah. want to do. Be your husband and your wife. Your, your husband may not smoke. Your wife may not smoke. But just because they don't, don't mean you have to, you know, just because you do, don't mean the house has to be in, infested with goddamn marijuana smoke and your kids go with mother shit. Ah, hell exactly. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run yeah, to we, the window. We talked to you. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Run to the window exactly and blow it out. And yeah. even then, the stuff comes out. Yeah. But. When I was yeah, a kid, Ma Montana Max says, when I was a kid, Snoop Dogg made me want to smoke weed. Yeah, Snoop Dogg probably had a lot of, of reason influence. Hold on, let me turn that. Um, uh, da -da -da -da, what was I going to say? Snoop um, oh, Snoop Dogg. Uh, uh, yeah, Snoop and Dr. Dre with The Chronic. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. what Chronic was until that album the came chronic, out. I was like, oh, shit, there's some good weed. The Chronic. Yeah, and then you buy it. It's like, what? wait, what is this? The Chronic probably the snoop and the chronic probably changed the whole mindset about weed and the hood because weed's always been around okay but it wasn't it's right. like it's like when chronic came out it was like it was rediscovered off of an island somewhere in the galapagos islands by some some uh some explorers and it just was reinvented 